a novelty project, not really ham radio related, but it's still very useful. It could get you in the good books of other people at home because it proves that your skills can be used for things other than tinkering with radio. In this case, it's a portable music box built into an esky. The main skills you need are scavenging a suitable unit to put inside and some ingenuity when it comes to the case. I searched high and low for a suitable container, but in the end, an esky I had around the house proved to be ideal. And as you'll see later, there's some other benefits to it as well, especially when it comes to the sound. The only items you need are the case, which as I said before is an esky, a car radio MP3 player, though if you're old fashioned you could use a cassette player instead, a speaker as big as you can get that fits into the case, and a rechargeable battery around 12 volts. This is actually a nickel metal hydride unit that I also use for some of my QRP gear. My particular car radio MP3 unit was a lucky find on the street. If you can, try and find a unit with an MP3 player and a USB connection, and preferably an external audio input as well. That will make it a lot more versatile. Luckily the internet came good, with information on the pinout connections. In this case, there are speaker connections for the front and rear, both left and right, plus other connections for the power and also a connection for the antenna in a separate socket. Your unit may also have other audio input or output connections. Start by testing your unit. Don't overlook the fuse. Some of these radios can be awkward if you're not used to using them, so have a look at the instruction manual. Hopefully that's downloadable on the web. You can use solder and heat shrink, or you can just use screw connections. Tape other unused connections out of the way, so they don't short together. I had an accidental short with this unit and it put it out of order. An error message came up on the screen. You had to reset the unit before the unit would operate. That got me in a panic until I found out that all you had to do was to press a reset button. That's tiny, which you can see compared to the size of my finger. Once all that was done, the unit worked fine. Well, what I'm understanding is not a prerequisite for being an amateur radio operator. Take up girls. The government is refusing to comment on the allegations. A lab is down. Double mission. Try again. Where'd it come down? Car radios are very sensitive, and even a short piece of wire will get good reception. But a couple of metres extra won't hurt. Fun's crime. It ends up in... If you want the best sound, you have to think about the speaker box. If you're building it in an esky, it's a good idea to have the thing able to operate with the lid on. Putting the lid on seals the enclosure and particularly improves the bass response. Here's a demonstration. I was just like, it's never going to happen, I'm never going to finish school. It was frustrating because I never had that motivation, but I still always knew, you really are better than this. What we expect, but they keep asking where we go next. Oh, we're chasing is the sunset, come on mind on you, doesn't matter where we are. This has been a fun project. Old car radio or MP3 players are cheap and can produce amazingly good audio with excellent RF performance. The whole project might only cost a few dollars or even nothing if you have all the items at home.